food. It is a life source, but it's also a great community connection point. And today in our community wrap up, Shay Johnson is here to talk about local black owned restaurants that we can all support. We've just been talking about food period because <laughs> we're hungry, I think. Right, we are now, definitely. But for Black History Month, I mean, that's like one of the easiest ways to support right. a business. Do you know how many emails I got? Like, hey, where can we eat? And I was like, this is a great topic. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Let's COVID discuss it. COVID had a big impact, though. On Absolutely. A huge impact. And I think what we don't talk about enough is black business owners don't have the same access, right, to capital, right. to loans. So a lot of black businesses put all of their life savings into this. So if their oh. business suffers, their whole life is at risk. So it's really like a lifeline that we can help protect when we go and eat at these places. Right. This is a real, this is a game changer for these businesses. It's actually. a conscious choice. It's so a conscious choice. That. So first up, you're gonna talk about Randall's. Yes, Randall's. So when we look at, before we get to Randall's, I wanna say like all oh, okay. the last calendar year, right? We yes. lost a lot of black businesses. From Intersections, Boney's Barbecue, Wellness Street Cafe was displaced, mm -hmm. Coffee on the Point. Yes. So now Randall's is in a very similar situation. About two weeks ago, this news did break and everybody has been pouring in so much love, really showing up and making sure that we support this. This is a famous spot in the east side of Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Randall Bourne, the owner of this restaurant, he brings you that Louisiana down home oh. south food. You can't go wrong with anything on the menu. My favorite is the fried fish, maybe the shrimp, red beans and rice, all of it. So <laughs> like, you can't go wrong. So I'm asking everybody to just go and support Randall's. Whether you're going to grab a plate or you're dropping off a check, it does not matter. We want to make sure we save Randall's. So go and check out Randall's Cafe. Yeah, you're right. We lost too many. We lost way too so many. So this is something on the verge and we yes, can do something about it. Yes, and we can actually do something about it. And I've been so appreciative of the love we've been getting, the outpouring love to Randall's. And we want to continue that, not just in February. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep exactly. It Keep it going, right? Yes, if you go and have a great experience, you just that make it a you favorite come back. spot. Right. Great food, great people. What can you go wrong with? Oh. Now, for my people that are saying, okay, Randall's, that's on my list. Checked it off. What else? Yes. Gonna let's go grab start a, in the morning. Let's hey, start in the morning. <laughs> let's start with a cup of coffee. Okay. Why not go to Whittier Cafe right in the Whittier area? Go and support this. They're known as the activist coffee shop. Look at that. And they wear that so on. proudly. I love them. Whether you're getting a cup of coffee or a cup or glass of wine, they are there and they have a justice fund as well. So they're really about pouring out to the community. So we want to make sure we pour back into Whittier Cafe. I like that. Favorite place. Now my next place here for all my brunch lovers. You've okay. got to go check out Mimosas. That is in the historic Five Point District. Everybody talks about this place. Mimosas is phenomenal. So it is your traditional brunch with a epic spin on it. Very innovative. We call it the bougie brunch. So when you want to go have the mimosas with extra things inside of them, that's where you're going to go. You can't go wrong. Chef D is one of my favorite chefs. So make sure you check out Mimosas. 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 Okay. All We've right. Gotten through coffee and brunch. There we go. Now my people that are saying fine dining, Valentine's Day coming up. You might not have made reservations. I won't tell on you, but go ahead and get them in. We can go to La French. Okay. And so La French is owned by two women that are sisters from Senegal. Oh. And they have taken their world travel experience and made this into this French cuisine where they have food that is literally a heart string of food. So what they're really doing is putting their expertise into these meals. I love their lamb chops. That is one of their signature dishes. But they also have pastries for my pastry lovers. You can get a croissant all day long without being judged. <laughs> this is a place you okay. wanna go. No judgment, right? So those are just a few. There's so many restaurants, but check off your list. Start looking at these places. Let's not just support them during Black History Month. Let's support them all year, all year long. That's what I was gonna say. I mean, I know there's a big thing around Valentine's Day. It's hard to get yeah, in a lot of places. Uh, right. But to be fair, once things start warming up, March and April, that's really a fun time to go out. It and absolutely have brunch is. And walk around afterwards or yes. have a great dinner and walk around the city. So And enjoy the city. Enjoy these restaurants. Try something new. I, I, all of those sound so good. Yeah, you can't really go wrong. I you am can't. starving. Okay. I know, I know. This is a great way to kick off the day, right? Let's <laughs> talk about more food. I know. So, yes. And I'm, fingers are crossed for you because she's a big Eagles fan. So Eagles, go Eagles. I'm not nervous. You're trying to make me a little nervous, no, but not. I am not nervous. I feel like we have this. That <laughs> other team is that. not really. They're not even a team. There's no one to talk Well, about. it's a problem here in Denver we have right. issues That's with. That's why so, we don't okay. even acknowledge them. What team? We don't know. So, go Eagles, go. Again, soul food has been a part of our tradition for so Long and it really ties black culture back to African ties. And so it's important that we help be a part of this culture and bring Make this full work. circle. 
Thank yeah. you. Let's not let another restaurant get closed down. No, we won't. <laughs> and we'll have you back next week. Don't forget, yes. we have this list of all these places. In case you don't remember, them on 9news.com with black-owned businesses across our area. You can support them and learn from them as well. And don't forget, you can reach out to Shay. Her email is shay.johnson at 9news.com. Thank you so much. All right, we'll all be right, right back.